In this tutorial we will be making this spline shaft and the roller bearing and finally we will perform the motion study analysis on this so let's begin at first select file click on new click part and then click on ok change the background to plain white select top plane click on sketch and make a circle at the origin make sure that you have selected mmgs as units now specify the diameter of the circle as 22 millimeter and then extrude boss extrude it up to 40 mm now let's uh, specify some appearance okay so now select this face click on sketch and make a circle here at this origin specify the diameter of this circle 32 mm and then extrude this circle extrude it up to 40 mm now select this face click on sketch and make a circle here at this origin now specify the diameter 35 millimeter and now select the extruded boss base extruded up to 30 mm select this face again click on sketch and make a circle here again specify the diameter as 32 millimeter and now again simply select actual boss base and specify the length as 70 mm increase this up to 70 mm and then check this box and now select this right plane and click on sketch select line select this point very much closer to the corner and make a vertical straight line now select this point and this point and make dimension as 1 mm now specify the length of this line as 50 mm now select this three point arc select this point of the line and this point of the shaft and select this point now specify the length of this uh, arc as 3 mm and specify the radius of this arc specify here 5 mm now exit the sketch rotate this and select this face and click on sketch make a circle here at the point where we have created that straight line specify the diameter of this as 5 mm and now uh, go to features exit the sketch now we have to select the swept cut command ok so select this and delete then select this window select this circle and in the next window select this line ok and then click ok this cut has been created and now simply select this circular pattern command in this direction select this circle this one make sure that you have uh, selected this uh, equal spacing in features select this cut and now increase the number of these cuts and then click ok this spline has been created
now it's time to apply some chamfer so select here chamfer rotate this shaft select this edge of the shaft specify here 2 mm and then click ok now create a new folder and save this file as shaft after that close this window and open a new window and this time we will be opening the assembly file so select this shaft and click open place this shaft in this environment window now let's go to the design library in case you do not have the design library just drop down this menu click, click on add then and you need to select this and this option and then click ok so expand this bar and ex uh, select this ANSI metric here we have two options select roller bearing and here we have to select the radial cylindrical bearings drag it here in this environment window and now we have to specify some parameters in size specify 22 and 22 because it has a bore of 22 mm and here we have to select the detailed view and add a cage and then click ok since we only need one bearing so cross this now move this bearing up to here right click on shaft and it should be appearing as float ok and then right click on this bearing it should be appearing as fix ok so now rotate this bearing in order to assemble it on shaft select this mate select this inner bore of the bearing and outer die of the shaft check this box now select this side of the shaft and this side of the bearing and then check this box now assign this uh, shaft and bearing some different materials you can assign any material I am assigning this brass now uh, go to motion study expand this bar select this motion study analysis and in settings for me 25 is ok select this contact and select bearing select this bearing and the shaft and then click ok now select the motor and select the inner race of the bearing and then specify the speed as 15 rpm then check this box now click on calculate it will work definitely but let's view in different orientation for this drag this up to here right click on it in view orientation select this bottom or any other view drag it up to this maximum point and then click on calculate and here you can see the transition of different views with motion study analysis so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you